All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for another Marvel Future Fight beatdown using the legendary one, Big Sexy. This guy's actually an animal, and I'm actually loving him right now. A couple of you guys didn't like where I placed him on my tier list. Y'all up in your feelings saying this man is nothing but Doctor Strange's lackey. Why is he so high up on the tier list? I'm about to show you. I'm about to show you. You gonna put some respect on this man's name. Or he gonna break your bones. We are on stage 40, ladies and gentlemen. Where legends are made and gods are slain. I was kind of hoping to get a little bit more damage before we get caught up, but it's okay. It's okay. We got it. We got it. There we go. Wish the tier 3 did more damage. Or even the 5th skill. You know? Kind of bum bums me out a little bit that sometimes... Uh, we're just a little short on damage from the fourth skill. So if the fifth skill hit a little bit harder, you know, it would be a little bit stronger, but it's okay. He's still plenty powerful. And like I said, he has the support thing for those of you guys who don't really care for his power level. But he's still over 9,000, God damn it. There we go. My boy out here actually Looking straight demonic. Wait, what's up? What's up? Y'all y'all want some? Alright, what is this guy gonna do? Walk me down? Oh no, you don't wanna walk me. You don't wanna walk me down, bro. You don't wanna run up on me, bro. You don't wanna run up on me. I'm telling you. You don't want these hands. Sky, sky. These hands are a lethal weapon. This ain't back in the day. This ain't back in the day when Wong was a Shadowland character and couldn't even do World Boss Ultimate, fam. Also, for some reason, Wong did the fourth skill right after the... <laughs> right after the cutscene. I noticed that he does that sometimes. It's like, he didn't get finished before the cutscene um, went off. So then, immediately after the cutscene, some, sometimes he just presses the four. And uh, there's nothing you can do about it, really. Alright. I think we can dodge. Oof. Okay, we didn't dodge it. Unfortunate. Um, we're going to have to, like, uh, just get behind this guy. Nope. <laughs> Yo, this guy tried to finesse me. He jumped and flooded the map at the same time because I did so much damage. That Bruh. This guy, this guy tried to play with me. He don't know, bro. He don't know. These hands, these hands, they're ready to eat for everyone, bro. <laughs> Walk out here. He's not just the master of the mystic arts. He's also the master of martial arts. So uh, you pull up, you gonna get, you gonna get it. Um, we in a circle? No, we are not in a circle. The proc activated on the tier two. Look at that. <laughs> like no damage. <laughs> <laughs> Tier three's damage is so bad, bro. All right, cool. I don't think we can hit him while he's in the uh, the thing here because um, we don't have that much damage reduction. We have a little bit coming from wave, but it's not enough. Now, in case you're wondering why I tagged, I tagged so we could reset Wong um, which skill because sometimes with no cutscenes, Wong just immediately spams the um the forward skill and that can throw off your rotation and stuff one more rotation baby i'm gonna just wait for it wait for it wait for it bang there we go boys from stage one of world boss ultimate all the way to stage 40 in World Boss Legend. The glow up for Wong is very real. And I kid you not, boys. You play Wong with his base kit or his older uniform, <laughs> you're dying in World Boss Ultimate, even on stage one, bro. Unless you have like super well cards. Look at this man up here rocking with the gods 
on stage 40. Now, unfortunately, we can't do stage 50 plus with my Wong because against Mephisto, you need a brilliant to do past 45. And the requirements really lock him out because he doesn't have the leadership tag and he's not a combat, nor is he a female. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to play stage 24 and just kind of see how fast he blitzes through here. Ideally, I'd like him to get this done in I would say two minutes. Like if we could get one rotation and just blitz and break. Nah, unfortunate. <laughs> I know the real <laughs> the expectation is kind of like unrealistic to do just one rotation and then just completely break my pistol right away. But hey, that's good. That's good. Ooh, that's nice, baby. We might actually do it in under two minutes. We might actually, yo, let's go, Wong. Let's freaking go. Wu Tang Wong, bro. The most legendary. Woo! Let's go. The most legendary one, bro. What? Yo, this is crazy, fam. That's like one minute. <laughs> We're in the last phase. Bro, this is not. This is nuts. Yo! Let's go! Here I am saying, yo, ideally I'd like it to be done in two minutes, but it's kind of iffy. Wong is like, wait, you ain't heard? I'm gonna get this thing done in a jiffy. This man actually clapped up stage 24 in one minute and three seconds. 63 seconds, boys. That's, that's spicy, man. All right, so now we're gonna test Wong on stage 19 against Ultron. Very few characters can actually get through here. So hopefully he can actually do it. And if he can, let's see how long it takes him. Showtime. Wu-Tang Wong. Let's get it. Catch these hands. Come on. Gonna take some damage because we're super close. It's whatever. I don't care. Bro, we didn't even use the tier three. This man's running scared. 30 seconds on stage 19. Let's go, bro. Bro. Wong well, actually sexy, bro. Wait, what what is happening? I think I think the uh, tier three stole the proc. Yep, my tier 3 definitely um took my proc the last time. That's fine, I'll take the damage. I'll just heal up. Let's get him over here in the corner. There we go. Yo. Oh, hold on, hold on, Juan, get out of that. At least we don't have to worry about him optimizing. Kept him busy long enough. Oh, this man is... <laughs> this man tried to run up on Wong, bro. You ain't heard? Wong ain't the kind of guy you run up on, fam. These hands are ready to eat for everyone. Alright, hold on. You know what? This is actually good. Because then when he goes into this thing... Oh, man. I'm going to mess him up real bad. All right, let's go. Come on. Oh, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Get the third skill off cooldown quick. Yo, it's, yo, that's so cheap. <laughs> he literally just came out and went straight into the next dimension. He didn't even get up, fam. Bro, he ain't hurt. Yo! Wu Tang Wong in the mother. Okay, let me stop it, okay? Let me stop it. Oh, Lee. Yo, can we kill him before he cuts Caesar? Oh! 
Oh, that's what I'm talking about, bro. That's like one of my fastest clears for stage 19 against Infinity Ultron. I'm not even kidding, bro. That's actually a really, really good clear time. Oh my gosh. Wong is actually legendary, boys. So like, if you're pushing in World Boss Legend, right? And you're trying to get that 100 second challenge done. Wong might be able to do it for you, man. Well, not might. He's definitely able to do it. Because I don't even have him built all that well. Like, no Odins are on this man. And he's just rocking a normal CTP of energy. We could have been fasted too because I had a rotation where just after he came out of the first um, dimension, we were um, hitting the tier three and it seems like the proc went off early because I didn't get more than like a bar of damage where on average it seems like I'm getting three to four bars. So Wong is amazing. The best part about him is his damage doesn't really fall off. He doesn't really rely on like the tier three too much and your three four and five are on like really low cooldowns and it's super easy to proc with them man if only if only they had given him a bigger buff on a tier three realistically half the time you don't even need to use the tier three i think you might even be better just not even using the tier three sometimes because there's a chance that those books from the tier three will activate and trigger your damage proc Especially if you're using an energy, since you have like the ignore dodge there, there's a high likelihood that one of those books is gonna just hit the boss and trigger something. Man, I'm actually impressed with him. Like realistically, I tested him a little bit before the video, obviously as I do with everybody, but um, all of these clear times, well, with the exception of null, I think I did null a little bit far, blah, 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 English, <laughs> anyways, I'm, I'm excited, man. I can't even speak, holy, but yeah. I think Null I did a little bit faster when I was by myself, but the Mephisto run, which is why I'm so ecstatic, right? That's why I usually come into my videos like very, very excited because like before I make my videos, I'm testing stuff and I'm like, yo, this is really, really awesome. I can't wait to share it, right? But the Mephisto clear is faster than anything I've done. And the no, sorry, the Ultron clear is faster than anything I've done. So like, I'm very, very happy to see that um, even though I've been using him, I can definitely improve and he is yielding me really good results. Now, I'm not going to tell you he's the best character in the game. He's the best this, best that. He's fun, easily used, and very, very powerful. And his uniform will hold value because he has that passive that applies to uh, magic-based characters. People like Doctor Doom, Doctor Strange, Mephisto, etc. So, all around, man, Wong is top tier chef's kiss i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one don't forget to smash the like button for your boy big sexy is in the building